Hi, Mom. Yeah, no, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hi, Valder. Well, Mike Catherwood, thank you so much for joining me here in Dallas, Texas, as I broadcast on a global platform for the Valder BB Show. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm fine. I want my audience to know, and you probably already know Mike Catherwood. He's on the Game Show Network, and he is a blast. Now, you've been listening to him on Dr. Drew Pinsky on that love line thing. Got to ask him about his love life. But anyway, he's going to be talking game show today. Mike, what's up with you? Uh, life is good. Life is good out here in L.A. How are you? I am so wonderful. I, I love I love living in America. This is the only place you can make up stuff like being a game show host or a radio show host <laughs> and have a great time. I, it, 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 what a wonderful country where I can talk to people and have fun and get paid for it. I agree. I know. Tell me about Chain Reaction on the Game Show Network. Uh, it's, a, it's a word association game. You, you, you and your teammate have to figure out uh, the, the middle chains in a, in a chain of words. You're given the first word and the last word, and you've got to you know, connect all the, the links in between. You've got to come up with all seven words. And um, it, you're given a time limit, and a lot of times the answer doesn't come immediately to you. So it just sets people up to make incredibly, incredibly smart people will make incredibly dumb answers, and that makes for fantastic television. Are those who think they're smart, you'll see how dumb they really are. <laughs> and then, well, let me ask you. It, so a lot of pop culture in this, I know. Yeah, gotta be, yeah. You know, the, the, these phrases that we have today. Yeah, it, and with vernacular kind of evolving moment to moment, there is a lot of kind of cutting edge, uh, you know, talk and, and pop culture terms that are used in the game. I like that. So we're going to be playing at home, right? So Because we're going to think we're smart, too, now. Yeah, I mean, that, it is the ultimate game show to try to play along at home. And I, I get so many tweets and, and Facebook messages and whatnot from people who say, I'm sitting at home pulling my hair out. I want to just, just like punch my TV because I know all the answers and what's wrong with these people. But I will, in, in defense of all the contestants on the show, um, you may be a superstar at Chain Reaction sitting on your couch at home. But when the lights are on and you're aware of the time limit, and the pressure's on you, and you have a live studio audience staring at you in the eyes, it is much, much, much harder. It is. Everything, you know, I people all the time say, oh, you know, I can do radio, it's so easy, or I can do television, it's so easy. But once you step into that shoe, yeah. you realize, you know, first of all, it takes a village to make you look good. Right. <laughs> and it's not that easy. It takes a massive village to make me look good. A lot of people don't realize that. Uh, I'm, I'm 81 years old, so um, it really it takes it's a, it's a huge village to. Uh, well, all you're, the... well, you're looking pretty good for 81. Thank you. Let me ask you, what type type of audience do you have? And when I say audience, do you have millennials or or baby boomers? Who's your audience? Well, I that honestly, uh, I'm glad you asked that because. Coming from uh, radio shows and television shows that I'm accustomed to doing have such a narrow demographic that they're really, you know, they are. They're geared towards a very kind of focused demographic. Being on Chain Reaction, it's, it's crazy to be involved in something that has such a broad audience. I mean, people, the millennials love to play and, because it's fast-paced and, it, like you said, it deals with a lot of pop culture stuff. But at the same time, my father watches every episode, and, and you know, I finally am involved in something <laughs> that my grandma can watch and I, without concern of me saying something offensive. So it's, it's really, it's not geared to anybody except for people who want to watch a game show and have a lot of fun with it. 
That That's so great. You know, one of the big things or challenges these days is to be able to sit down, like you say, with your father and not be embarrassed on something. Yeah. So you, you've hit it on the head. When do you want us to watch you on, on Chain Reaction? Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Uh, every week you get uh, two new episodes. It, uh, and I, I honestly, I'm so enthusiastic and proud of, of the product, and uh, I really encourage people to check it out. Well, Mike Hathaway, you're the next breakout star, so please remember to come back to the Valder BB Show as your star rises. I promise. I promise. Thank you for the, the vote of confidence. Thank you, Mike Hathaway. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. No problem. My pleasure.